So yesterday is the day that I put um, the last fertilizer on the, you know, these things. <laughs> but do you remember how yellow this was yesterday? This is the urine. Look how green that is today. And then this one over here was the same. This is the urine with wood ash. Very nice and green. Where yesterday it had spots of yellow all over it. So looking great. Looking great. Of course, this was number one. This is the uh, Miracle Grill. Still looking good. And then ta-da the control is looking like the others were yesterday so interesting that ju in just 24 hours how much that nitrogen worked anyway interesting hi you guys so today is the first update on the urine urine with wood ash miracle grow control garden fiesta it's the beginning of June. Uh, I water every two weeks, and the control just gets water. The Miracle Grow gets Miracle Grow per watering can instructions, which is Miracle Grow, and with the watering can, one and a half tablespoons per one and a half gallons of water. The urine is 10 parts water to one part urine, and urine with wood ash is the same. 10 parts water, one part urine, plus a dessert spoon, a teaspoon full of hard wood ash at the base. I tried to mix it in the can, um, but it won't stay suspended in the water, so I have to put it on the dirt and then water that in. So let's start at the beginning and take a look. Actually, this is our control, and you'll notice I added a third plant. These are black beans um, that I grew myself uh, two years ago, and I saved the beans um, and grew that and that and all of these. So they're from sister plants. We have two cucumbers. They're not looking the best. This one has a little damage. I'm going to take that off. Um, and here is the okra. And this one is also not looking great right there. I'm going to go ahead and just clip that yellow leaf off with my thumb. Miracle Grow, I think, looks the best out of all the plants. Um, except there's only one cucumber here. And one of them bit the dust because I planted two in each section, see, two. Um, so I'll figure out if I need to pull one. Well, let's look at the rest and, and we'll figure that out. The bean looks great and the okra looks pretty darn good to me. I put um, these up because a squirrel or bird came and took out one of my okras and actually two of them and I had to replant. Here's the urine. And we have uh, two cucumbers that look pretty good, but they're not they're not as big as the one Miracle Grow whoop, Miracle Grow over there. Bean looks good, although uh, well, no, looks looks just about the same. Okra is a little smaller. Let me get out of the sun there so you can see it. A um, little smaller than that one is over there. This one was also replanted, so that could have something to do with it. Urine with wood ash. Okra looks pitiful. And it has a leaf that I needed to take off. So I just took off that leaf. Little little baby in there. Uh, we still have two cucumbers. And the bean looks pretty good. Although I don't think the leaf is quite as green. Um, see how it's greener on the top? So I think I got something going on there. Um, the two cucumbers look pretty good. Just take that leaf off since it's got a little pest damage. You know, it's still early, early days. Looks like there's another dead leaf there. Early days and, um, you know, at this point, everything, what, what's different among things is just so little that um, it's hard to, to even make any judgment call. But I do every time. I always have to make a judgment call. And my judgment is is that the Miracle Grow is doing the best so far this year. Now, previous years, this is my fifth year doing this test. Every year, urine with wood ash wins with urine a close second. Miracle Grow always starts really strong 
but then it burns out um, toward the end of the season and that's when the urine and the urine with wood ash keep going and it just keeps uh, improving the um, product, the, the fruit, the plants, everything. And I keep watering, I keep fertilizing even after the plant is in fruiting production. I know people say pull that, stop doing that because of the nitrogen, you don't want too much nitrogen. Um, and I did test that a couple years ago, two years ago, and discovered that it made um, not much difference if I stopped watering. Actually, it was detrimental. If I kept watering with urine and urine with wood ash, I got improved uh, production. I actually um, look at the plants individually, but then I weigh and catalog what is produced from the plants and I keep a running list and so I know, and I weigh in grams, so I know for sure who has produced the most, when they produced it, etc. So anyway, uh, miracle Grow I think is number one so far, but that's to be expected. And um, yeah, we'll just keep an eye on everything and we'll report back in a few weeks. Let me know if you have any questions, if you want me to change up anything. I did check the soil pH, it's all neutral. It's uh, I'll have to check my list. I'll put it right there. I think it's seven, but they were all the same, even though last year these are the urine and the urine with wood ash uh, bins, the same same bins, but in the same soil, although I did top it up. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions and if you have any thoughts. So we'll see you in a month.